Hello students, I hope you're ready for your PE VT today. Just gonna get your body moving. Uh, make sure that you have a mat or a towel, and some comfy sneakers on, some workout clothes, and let's get started. And to begin with our warm up, so swinging your arms from side to side and stepping as well. You can also lift up your leg. There you go, so give it a kick from left to right. We're then going to warm up those shoulders, so moving back, big rotations, and then you're going to switch forward. Okay, keep that going. Right up, you're going to stretch out your arm, place one arm in front of the other one, and push it over, moving from side to side. And then you're going to change sides and do the exact same thing. Next up, we're going to warm up our necks. So looking from left to right, don't do this quickly, just a nice slow movement and then we're going to, once that's done, we're then going to hold our neck to the one side, pushing gently, you definitely do not want to push hard, nice and gently for a few seconds and then change sides. Hold it there and then once that side is done, you're going to use both hands to push it forward. Next up, we're going to move, warm up those knees, so move them in one direction with your hands on them. And then we're going to do the same thing, but change direction. Next up, we're going to warm up those hips. So if you need to balance, you can hold on something. If not, just move your leg up from left to right, but hold, uh, moving it up sideways. Okay, do that for a couple of times on the one side and then do the same on the other. As you can see, you are welcome to hold on something and just to help with your balance. Other than that, it does warm up your hips. Right, now we're going to head over to some uh, toe touches. So deep breath in and reach down as far as you can. If you can't touch your toes, just reach for as low as you can. If you can touch, just make sure you're taking deep breaths in and then out and touching your toes. And now we're ready to begin. I hope you are. We're going to begin with the skipping. If you don't have a skipping rope, you can just jump with the motion with your arms swinging like you have one. We're going to be doing 30 skips followed by uh, squats and then we're going to be doing that two sets. So that means doing it each twice. Remember each time you're doing an exercise to keep mindful of your form, make sure that you're in the correct position, you're not straining any part of your body, and don't forget to breathe. It's really important to breathe in and out. Okay, so keep going, doing your squats um, as accurately as possible. And once that's done, you're going to go straight back into uh, your skipping. So remember 30 skips followed by squats again. Remember, if at any point you feel you need to stop or just take a moment, just hit pause. Um, take it at your own pace, okay? Don't feel like you have to keep up. If it's too much, rather slow it down. If you are able to do a third set and you find it too easy, then amazing, go for it. Just make sure that you're looking after your own. Okay, next exercise will be carb raises. If you need something to balance on, you can hold something. Otherwise, um, just going up with both legs at the same time, raising up on your tiptoes and then back down. Okay, we're going to do that 10 times. Followed by, I'm going to work on my balance here as well, holding onto the wall and doing side leg raises. Okay, you'll feel it in your hips as well, and then holding onto the wall for balance.
This next exercise is really good for your hamstrings as well, um, as well as working on your balance. If you're able to balance um, without holding anything, go for it. Otherwise, you can hold something on the side um, and you'll still feel it in your hamstrings. Okay. We're going to do 10 on each side. Okay, that's the end of our first set. We're going to do the exact same things uh, again uh, for the second time. So your calf raises, followed by your leg kicks, and then um, working on your hamstrings. Okay, this next exercise is going to be a beginner burpee. So you're going to take a deep squat and then step out back and bring your foot forward again. Okay, this is the beginner burpee. There are different uh, levels to this. This one will still work your, your body up. Make sure that you have a nice deep squat and then reach your legs out back into a good position. Okay, take your time. Do it slowly. And then you stand up straight afterwards. Next up, we're going to do some push-ups. Uh, so you're going to go down. I'm going to do it with my legs up, which is the easier version. Um, and then you make sure your arms aren't close together. You need to put them quite far a wide apart, which is what we're working on today. And then push down using your body and breathe out. Make sure you're breathing out when you uh, your arms are down and you're pushing back up.
I know you're familiar with these Russian twists which we've done previously. Remember the beginner version, you can keep your feet down and move side to side. If you feel you're happy to raise your legs, go for it. Today I'm going to be using a weight. You can use a water bottle um, just to give you some added uh, difficulty. And moving from side to side, we're going to be doing 10, uh, 10 or 12 each side. Okay, again, it's going to be two sets of these. So don't forget to breathe, holding your weight, moving over. And straight after that, we're going to move into your leg um, kick, moving over to the side. So one leg kick, touch over the opposite side, back up and down. Kick it up, move it over, back up and down. Okay, we're going to begin the second set now, so back into those Russian twists. If you've made it this far, you're super close to the end, you're more than halfway. We're now going to do a plank, hold it for as long as you can. Um, you can either do it with your elbows down, or as you can see, where um, I'm leaning against my hands with my hands completely straight. I'm going to stick to the one where my elbows are touching the ground, but hold it for as long as you can. Now we're going to work on some more core exercise. We are um, going to start our bicycle crunch. So you can your bicycle moving your elbows from side to side. So the opposite um, elbow to the opposite leg. Okay, so left elbow to right leg and so on. You're now going to begin with your uh, ankle touches, so moving from side to side, 10 on each leg, and you're going to be touching your ankles, try to reach them as far as you can. Okay, we're going to begin with our uh, one of our last exercises. Is it's going to be a reach? As you can see, I'm using more core strength. Um, I'm going to use a weight using the water bottle, and you're going to reach upwards. Okay, so using that core, your abs, to reach up. Um, I think we're going to do it ten times.
Well done students, you've made it through those workouts. This is the best part now where you get to cool down. Don't skip the cool down, it's extremely important to um, stretch those muscles out, especially after you've worked them out. Okay, good job. Please let me know what you think. I'd love to hear how you found the workout. Thank you.